In his critique of the recent budget 2024, Lim Teen, the leader of the Alternative Party People's Voice, PV, has characterized it as a mere band-aids budget, arguing that it fails to address the underlying issues plaguing Singaporeans and instead offers only temporary relief. This sentiment echoes a growing sentiment among some segments of the population who feel that the government's policies are not effectively addressing their concerns. Lim Teen's criticism centers around the cash handouts provided by the government, which he believes are insufficient to tackle the cost of living crisis faced by many Singaporeans. He attributes this crisis to what he perceives as unfair policies implemented by the ruling People's Action Party, PAP. By labeling Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong as playing Santa Claus, Lim Teen suggests that the government's distribution of cash handouts is merely a superficial attempt to placate voters ahead of upcoming elections rather than genuinely addressing their needs. Furthermore, Lim Teen casts doubt on the effectiveness of initiatives like the Skills Future Level Up program in improving the employability of local citizens. He highlights statistics indicating that a significant portion of new jobs created in recent years have gone to non-Singaporeans, raising questions about the government's assertions regarding the benefits of importing foreign talent. Examining data from the Ministry of Manpower's labor market reports for 2022 and 2023, Lim Teen points out a substantial increase in total employment driven primarily by non-resident employment, particularly in sectors like construction and manufacturing. This trend, he argues, contributes to growing concerns among Singaporean workers about job insecurity. Lim Teen's critique extends beyond economic issues to encompass broader societal concerns, such as the perceived disconnect between political leaders and the populace, the favoritism towards foreigners in job opportunities, and the soaring cost of public housing. By prompting voters to reflect on these critical issues, he seeks to encourage a more informed and engaged electorate ahead of elections. Overall, Lim Teen's assessment of Budget 2024 and the broader socio-economic landscape in Singapore underscores the need for comprehensive policy reforms that address the root causes of citizens' concerns rather than merely offering short-term solutions. Whether his critique resonates with voters remains to be seen, but it contributes to a broader discourse on governance and accountability in Singaporean politics. What are your thoughts on Lim Teen's analysis? Do you agree or disagree with his assessment of the budget and its implications for Singaporean society? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful analyses of current affairs in Singapore and beyond.